Hey guys, it's Lev here from Lev Room Gaming, back with another Blitz Tower Defense 6 video. Today we're going to do something cool. Um, I'm going to continue a mini series that I'm doing, completing all the hidden achievements in Blitz Tower Defense 6. Um, now, a lot of people have asked me how I have the little balloons, because I play every single game with the little balloons option. Um, extra small balloons i have it on all the time i just find it my pc runs way better when i have the little balloons that's why i do it i can see the map better loads of other reasons i just like the small balloons the achievement that we're going for is called oh i don't want to get this wrong alchemist man and balloon balloon boy. ah oh, man I don't know. I don't know. That's the achievement going for. Now, the way to get the achievement, I'll bring this over here. I'll put this up on the screen now for you guys. But what we need to do is we need to do 900,000 damage in a single game with our Balloon Master Alchemist before round 100. So that may sound a little tricky, but Providing we get our alchemist out at about, well, like get him doing loads of damage, like 80 to 100, just between those rounds alone, because of the amount of pops that the alchemist gets, we should be totally fine. Anyway, let's get stuck into it. My favorite map for doing all of these challenges is Cubism. It's the second longest map. The longest map I think is logs here, but I don't like the layout. So, whoopsie, jump back in. Let's hit cubism. Uh, we have to go to around 100. So we'll play on hard, just standard mode. We don't do anything crazy here. All right, guys, let's get stuck into this challenge. Getting this Bloom Master Alchemist. 800, 900K pops even. Huge amount of pops. We're going to use Sorta primarily, primarily, primarily got it out. There we go. Because she has that camo detection level one. She's perfect on these maps that have these looping tracks. Um, and then we can place our Alchemist near the top of the map. He can reduce all of those big Moab balloons to a single red balloon, which is pretty awesome. And that's how he's able to get massive amounts of pops before round 100. So providing we get him out, look, we were, providing you get him out by about level 80, that is usually enough while I build this first banana farm. That's usually enough between rounds 80 and 100 to get those pops. We might get him out a little bit earlier because he does have uh, that lead to gold, rubber to gold, which we could actually benefit from getting that early. So we'll see what we do here, see what happens. And Sorta's pretty good. Like she can pretty much get us through all of the round 40 just by herself. So the, we just have to watch out round 28 when that first lead, uh, those first lead balloons come out, round 30 again when those leads come out, that we have some lead popping power. And once again, Alchemist is gonna solve that for us. So, I mean, this is a pretty cool strategy if you guys even just wanna use it on some other maps. Like, it makes total sense. We'll set this guy to strong. And then we'll get this acidic mixture dip. I always say that wrong, but not today. Uh, that will allow Sorta to pop round 28, round 30. And then we'll start working on this uh, bottom, bottom row here. We'll just get a few farms out because we're going to need a bunch of money this game. Because I want to do something pretty cool with our alchemist here like there's getting 
the 800, 900k pops before round 100. And then there's getting the pops before round 100. You guys might even pick up a few tactics that I'm going to use today that you can use in some other games. We're going to do a lot of stalling. So stalling the balloons, giving these guys more time, especially our alchemists, to kill them or pop them. I don't know, I should, I should say pop. We're not killing balloons, we're popping balloons. We round... 28. What am I kidding? We don't even need Sorta to be killing those lead balloons. Because this guy turns them to gold. Look at that. I say that, but in later rounds, we definitely need definitely need Sorta to be able to hit those uh, lead balloons. They're a bit too much for our alchemist by himself. Get another farm out here. Get more production. I think we'll probably aim for... Let's aim for like six farms for the time being. And then we'll upgrade them into central markets because I hate hovering over them. Pick up all these nannies that are dropping everywhere. Round 37. Like I said, I'm pretty sure Sorta should be able to get us through that round 40. We might have to use an ability, but That's a pretty good trade-off, having to use a single ability to get through round 40. That's what they're there for, right? We've got some good income coming in though. Really good income. Oh, that's a lot of balloons. And sort of gets rid of them. Alrighty. Pay attention here, make sure she can pop this. Use our ability there, clean them up. We are gonna need to put in some more defenses soon. But defenses in a way that they're not gonna take pops away from our alchemist because we do not want that and we have a bunch of cash let me just slow this down let's spend nothing shouldn't say nothing but uh we get our free glue gunner out here let's put him down here oh no he'll be right up here you can hit a fair bit of the track Look at that moab glue these glue splatters set him to strong That'll start to, whoopsie. That will start to slow these balloons down. Relentless glue gives Sorter a little bit more time to damage them, and then let's put in let's put in a monkey village in here. And get camo detection for these guys. So our glue gunner can hit camo. Our alchemist, most importantly here, he can uh, he can hit DDTs. Which is not a huge problem at the moment, but it will be. Um, and we're going to need something else ASAP. ASAP. Let's get a helipad. Fit this guy in here if we can. I mean, downdraft, we don't need to put him. He can just go yonder. 
somewhere out of the way. You guys aren't from Australia, you probably wouldn't understand uh, that reference, but let's get down draft on that guy. Now we're not looking to get a bunch of damage on him. That's not the goal of that, of both of these helicopters. We just want, we want downdraft and we want Moab shove, which is this one here. So we essentially just want to be pushing the balloons back up to this guy because we have to get that 800, 900,000 pops on him. So that's the goal. We use these guys to stall the balloons and we will get this guy. We put a druid and we'll get Druid Storm here. So he can, he can push the balloons, mainly the, uh, just the regular balloons that give us a bit of a pain when we're doing a strategy like this. We're round 50. Now we probably should look at, because as we get more and more Moabs out, let's get out, we'll get our Balloon Master Alchemist that he will then start to solve our moab problems he just turns into one single red balloon and these other towers that we're just using to stall the balloons that'll be you know like they can take down a single red balloon in the meantime though all of these balloons that go gold he's given us extra cash How much do we have to go? We've got another 12k on this guy. He's on strong. We're at the point now where we we pretty much need him. Two K, come on. Come on. Alrighty, round fifty-five. We have our tier five alchemist. He had six K pops when we started, I think just then. He's up 10 K already. And that number will just, I mean, it, it just gets ridiculous. It gets straight ridiculous. Let's get some more attack speed on him. And then we'll start upgrading these central markets. What are we at? He's at 16k already. Watch this. Oh, gone. 20k bombs. So you can imagine when we're in those rounds between like round 80 and 100. If he's throwing a bomb like that and nuking OMGs, Moabs, fortified DDTs, that type of stuff. If you're just throwing one potion, boom. You know, you get 100k pops in a single potion throw. You saw his Billy there cleaning them up. Just uh, pay attention here, I don't. Maybe we have to get. Gonna have to get some uh, more popping power, I think. We could put something at the back as a bit of a fail safe. Like something like this in here. Or I guess we could continue the strategy and get like an engineer. He's not really going to provide much popping power though. Because we want to overcock this guy. We want him throwing out literal bombs. We want him throwing out bombs. Let's... I will just slap a super monkey in there. 
for the time being. He gets a bunch of pops. It's actually when the rounds start to reduce in balloons and they go to more Moabs is where this strategy actually comes into play. Look at that, just... So he ne See, this is perfect, where it's not high balloons, where it's just these Moabs and he just... They just are gone. He just throws a potion, they turn into a red balloon. Happy days. So we just need a tower at the end here. Probably. Probably like our super monkey. You're like a glaive lord or something. Just to clean up any bulk amount of balloons. Like round 76 is coming. That's always just a ridiculous round. The amount of balloons that come out in that round. So, And this guy's terrible at killing balloons like that. So, we'll see how we go. I'm still just trying to upgrade these central markets. Get some... Get some coin. He just made all of them disappear. Gone. How much do we need here? We need another 16k. How good is that? That is insane. Oh, here's... We got round 76 and two rounds, so... Let's get knocked back on this guy. Ultra vision. Get a huge range. We'll just call him our fail safe. And technically, he's got that knockback. So, let's put this guy's bubble foam up here, unlock his overclock. Alright, we dealt with that not too bad. Where are we at? We're 118 pops, around 77. That's how good this tower is. We just overclock him and he just throws one potion and they're gone. So these sell for 18k each. 20, 40, 60, 80. 18,000 each? I mean, I, we could just sell them and. Potentially just get our ultra boost soon. My only issue with that, I'm not sure we can make it to round 100. This guy is absurd. Absurd. Look at this. Gone. Gone. I'm not, I don't, you guys in the comments have to let me know how. If his range ends here, how is he hitting those balloons up there? Alright, let's roll. 20 rounds to go. Free play mode. We have 189,000 pops. That is crazy. Oh, gone. 196, 203. 213, 223, 230. I don't think we're going to have a problem here, boys. I I don't think we're going to have a problem getting those 800, 900,000 pops. What a crazy tale. Let's speed this up. Fortified. Gone. Gone. So we just have to make sure we don't get a huge rush of balloons. But we do have our super monkey back here. We could go robo monkey. We could go dark knight even. Dark knight would be pretty good. 
I think because he pushes Moabs back, I don't think he's going to push them back enough that this guy then gets to pop them. But we're getting close to our Ultra Boost. Then we Ultra Boost this guy. Get him just chucking, chucking. Oh, I'm so tempted just to sell one so we can get it. But we earn money so fast. Alright. Let's ultra boost this guy, getting 10 times attack speed. He's up 488,000, round 98, mind you. More attack speed. Waiting for our ability to come off cooldown. Just get our Dark Knight back here. Look at this. Tell me this isn't like a legit awesome strategy. 600,000 pops, eight rounds to go. 630,000. Like this guy, Dark Knight is just sitting out the back, not doing anything. 93, 700k pops. He got 30k pops that round. There's your 800,000. This is crazy. Obviously, like I said, doesn't do good into bulk balloons. But he's chucking some potions now. Can we survive? Dark Knight Champion? Ultra boost this guy again? 900k pops? There's the achievement. Straight up. There's the achievement. That, there you go, guys. If you haven't got small balloons, follow this super simple guide. You have small balloons now. I just want to see how many pops we can get before round 100. When I did this for the first time, I just scraped in and got the amount that I needed. I was way less experienced at the game than I am now. We had 10 times boost on this guy. If you guys were worried about how many pops you can get, we're 1.4 million. Not sure how we go into this bad thing. Uh-oh. Lucky we built this guy at the back. Pop him up. Yeah, so, uh... This strategy doesn't really take into account these bad boys. Pun intended. Round 100. Achievement unlocked. I know this is running in the background. This dude got 1.5 mil pops. Round 102 now. Let me hit the... Let me hit the old pause button. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I enjoyed putting this together for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed watching. Should be simple to get this hidden achievement. Ah, what a day. I'll see you guys in the next one. It's Lev out. 1.6 mil. 1.7 mil. Crazy. I might even just throw on at the end how far I get and how many pops this guy gets. I'll let you guys know. See ya. Alrighty, guys. Well, now I got good news and I got bad news. <laughs> I was doing pretty good. We almost hit 100 mil pops on our Blue Master Alchemist. Then, halfway through a round, Around 175, mind you. I uh, built a Vengeful Temple. But then he instantly loses the camo detection. And I lost. But anyway, 100 mil pops. Is 100 mil pops? I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, comment. I think I said all that before, but I don't know. We'll cut it out if I did. Thanks for watching. Live out.